Loading complete. Sega. Ugh, it's in the game. The Mossad is here to demoralize me during the COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs>and thick if you're watching this stream um i hope i'm gonna inject your weird hollywood brain with some uh with some deep politics so get ready get ready for me to blur your line if you know what i'm talking about we need a deep dick into the world of deep politics and then we need to edge we need to have tantric deep dick diving into politics sex um because if we, you know, if it gets to the point where we're just looking to get off right away, then that's kind of what the MAGA movement conspiracy world does, where they, you know, they'll act like they're deep dicking in deep politics, and then they'll just like come in three seconds. So we need to like train ourselves to edge, to get tantric on the deep politics, and to, you know, keep that deep dive in a coasting state where we're just in that deep zone for a long time. Um, that's where I'd like to see things go. Steve Bannon made me watch Hunter Biden jack off. That was the October surprise. I had got to watch Hunter Biden making himself come on video. Thank you, Steve Bannon. Thank you. When men, certain men play instruments like guitar, they make this face like they're ejaculating or they're like coming or something. It's really, and it really grosses me out. I have never seen anybody playing disc golf ever, but I have seen multiple times dudes taking their dicks out and people going into the bushes to fuck. Why is everyone hating on foreskin so much? You know, like America is one of the only countries that fucking everybody has their foreskin chopped off. Most of these look like pretty raw amateur porn videos that are popping up on my my search results. Interesting. We literally sat together and watched <clears throat> the most disturbing snuff video you'll ever see in your life. Oh yeah, and then they asked me to burn them a disc of the videos after I had downloaded them. So I, I literally burnt them a disc of snuff videos um, and gave it to him. And that was it. That was that was the last time I interacted with the FBI. Apparently, Trump would hire prostitutes or women to masturbate in front of him. And because he was such a germaphobe, he would actually make them wear surgical masks and rubber gloves while they would do it. And that is just so many levels of like weird, fucked up. But it, for some reason, it feels so much like Trump. I'm almost kind of inclined to believe it. Well, if you took Trump seriously this time, you're the idiot because he's joking. Well, if you thought he was joking this time, you're the idiot because he was serious. Hydrochloroquine will cure you. Wouldn't that be terrible if Israel did COVID-19 thinking that they had encoded some kind of bioweapon only to kill people, Palestinians, and they'd fucked up and then they accidentally released it and it just like kills everybody. So that's how you'll know if this is a bioweapon is like how many people from like certain neoconservative sectors are like which one do the elites like survive? If too many of them survive or don't get it, uh, we're gonna start asking questions. <laughs> I'm not being completely serious about that, but I'm not completely joking either. Oh, you think Bush demolished the World Trade Center? You fucking idiot! You think Dick Cheney pushed down the plunger? You stupid fuck! You trooper fuck! Michael Flynn didn't pledge to any oath. It's not that he didn't pledge to a QAnon oath. Stop listening to the fake news. You're not Christian? 
Why are you sending me this fucking video? Let's get into some phrenology about Freemasons. Let's measure some Masonic skulls. Yeah, Obama is a fucking Russian puppet. And he's gay, and his wife's a man and has a dick. Michelle Obama is a Russian transsexual. They are both transsexual. Um, and then Obama is the one who actually had the children. Because he's the one who still has the uterus. You know what? I'm, I'm going too far with this. It's really affecting my life. I need to go see a therapist immediately. <laughs> Kung flu. Have you guys gotten into the depths of the mag MAGA hat cesspools yet to hear people calling it the Kung flu? That's when you get to the real, the actual bottom of the barrel. Almost like when you penetrate the bottom of the barrel, like underneath the barrel to get to the part of the barrel that's been like soaked through and it's like rotten and moldy from like not being able to contain the moisture in the barrel. You start hearing people call it the Kung flu. What the fuck kind of fascist fucking rabbit hole did you put your fucking head in down into, you fucking idiot? Fuck. It's going to get more restrictive more draconian, more fascistic, more movie-like, it's going to get cray. I mean, try to convince me, though. I, I'm, I, I, I like to try to be convinced. Um, <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm not going to be convinced. Are we already having infighting in the chat? Why are you guys blocking each other? Why the fuck are you guys blocking each other in the chat? Be nice to each other. Um... No, I don't give a shit. If someone wants to block someone else in here, I don't give two shits. Maybe it's censored. Maybe I'm being shadow banned. I'm being shadow banned, dude. Cesar Romero, who played the Joker on the original Batman show, used to hire young men to throw oranges at his gaping butthole. <laughs> I'm a secret elite. I have been given the secret vaccine. People's mom's clones, I mean, they, they fuck around. You got to be careful. Psychologically, I don't want to be a loser. And I'm imagining most of you guys don't want to be losers either. So, you know, I'm sure that that worked on you as a child or as a teenager um, that winners don't use drugs. Well, I just wanted Nancy Reagan to be proud of me. Yeah, the beard's gone. Get used to it. Shit's gone, dude. And then I'm just going to grow back like a ZZ Top Alan Moore style beard from here on out. I want to see Tulsi Gabbard bust out a really good flute solo. A really, really soulful, <clears throat> percussive flute solo. Anyways, I just want to tell a rant. Just talking shit about people who really ultimately don't matter and will be erased from the page of time in like two years and we will give a fuck about any of these fucking dumbasses. I wish I could talk to you more about cuckolding and things like that. Um... I don't really have much more to say about it. Might be a good place to end this uh, this episode on an angry rant. An angry rant uh, where I talk about sexually abusing Chris Kyle's corpse. You never know who the fuck's out there who's like believes every word you say and can't detect sarcasm.